Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to try to explain a little bit what are the differences between the polling interrupt and DMA, which are, uh, is direct memory access. So basically, um, you know, before actually using I.O. devices, we can say that the CPU is actually in charge of the bus, right? And uh, once we include the input and output, then we have both of them who can actually, you know, control this data bus. So depending on who gets the bus at which time, and if we connect several input and output devices, you know, we, we will need a bus arbitrator. But um, in this video, what I want to go through is understanding better, you know, what is polling, what is interrupt, and how DMA is actually um, better in some aspects and can be complementing polling and interrupt. Um, so for polling, what happens, it's pretty simple. We just have the CPU that asks the I.O. device all the time as if, um, as if it was um, like, um, you know, a person that was really annoying, like one of those persons that calls you all the time on the phone to, to get a poll or a survey. Um, and so they, it calls all the time, um, you know, the input and output and asks, hey, do you have anything for me, something for me or not? So the advantages, advantages here is that you know, it is simple, simple, it's easy to implement, um, you know, it is, it's nice when we need actually regular um, information, but it wastes a lot of time of CPU and has a high latency, so there are some downsides to it. Then we have interrupt, and the interrupt is actually the opposite, so instead of having the CPU all the time asking the input and output, what we have is actually the uh, I.O. device that asks for, with an interrupt signal, the CPU, to interrupt whatever, whatever they were doing and, uh, and handle that specific instruction. And so there are some benefits, but, uh, you know, uh, the CPU doesn't wait, but it is much more complex. So there are some downsides. And finally, we do have DMA, which is the direct uh, memory access. And here, um, the, the data transfer it's done over the system bus, and what happens is that the the we're trying to avoid the CPU. So there is actually some I/O peripheral device communicating to the RAM directly, or memory to memory with the you know using direct memory access. the The idea here is to to put a hold on the CPU and uh, and try to get rid you know of this middleman, and then this is done by actually sending the same signals to memory that the CPU would send. So this is how it works.